we're back at our favorite dam in Nanda. Um, we over the last two weeks we've been talking about the Elite 5 by Lawrence, 5 inch unit, color unit with the GPS, it's a combo unit, but it's your standard 83 200 kilohertz type sonar, your standard traditional sonar. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using the Lawrence Elite 5 DSI. So we've now got a high frequency 800 kilohertz and 455 kilohertz unit with a GPS but with one major difference on top of that, it's color. Let's have a look what the uh, high frequency DSI looks like in color. The palette that we've chosen today is a blue, you've got several uh, grayscale uh, palettes, pinks, purples, whatever you can imagine, but today we're going to be using the blue palette. Again, we got the same simulated course where we're moving from the shallows, we're going to move onto a ledge, onto a drop off, into the main river channel, along the way with exactly the same uh, uh, course that we've laid out before with the previous units. We've got the tennis ball, which is representative of a 1kg fish, and then we've got the brush pile. You'll notice your 455 kilohertz has got a slightly wider beam than your 800 kilohertz, and there is your tennis ball there, or representative of a fish. And on the 800 kilohertz, with being a little bit tighter, it's a tiny little dot there. We're going over the brush pile now. Look at the clarity on the Elite 5 DSI on the 800 kilohertz when it comes to the brush pile. Just about every branch is visible. We're looking for the thermocline. The 455 kilohertz, a little bit wider, not as clear, but you can still make out a thermocline. But look at the 800 kilohertz, it marks it perfectly. Well, today it's at 30 feet. So these two frequencies, with the color unit, with the Elite 5 DSI, is a phenomenal fish finding, but mainly cover and structure finding tool.